Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well and hope you all are staying safe. Dimple here again welcoming you all to my next session on Android framework components. We have seen that few couple of sessions uh, we are seeing the theoretical concepts of SC Linux like what is the SC Linux? What is the major need of SC Linux? If SC Linux is not there how the security would become of a major concern? What are the different ways to write a policy where exactly these policies are different? find how to label the sc linux context what are the different types of context all these things we have learned in today's session i want to show you all a practical example of sc linux avc denial so here what i have done is in order to make it simple and easy for you all to understand when exactly uh, these sc linux or avc denial errors will be thrown I have taken a particular code, removed the search permission from that code, built that code, flashed it on my device and then I am trying to search something. So since I don't have the permission, I will be thrown with this AVC denial error. So let's get uh, started with this. Uh, before moving on, I will show you the code which I am changing. So this is the particular uh, code I'm, I want to change. So it, this code is uh, untrusted app.te file. So .te file, we know all the SC Linux policies are written under this te file. So this you can find under your Android device and your uh, manufacturer. Okay, here for example, I have written OEM common SC policy and under that you can see this uh, .te file. So here what I am doing or uh, this file what it will do it will provide the permissions to all the third party applications to access different parts of your file system. For a simpler understanding what I am doing is you all can see this allow untrusted app to data temp file okay so what this SC policy is telling is any untrusted app you have to allow to access the data temp folder so there is data temp directory in your devices file system and that file system data temp directory file system should be accessed by any third party untrusted application and that is having the permission of search that means it should be able to locate or find any particular file inside this data temp file directory fine so that is what uh, this policy means for your understanding what i am doing is i am just removing this search permission okay i am removing the search permission and i am saving these changes and I am actually uh, building the entire Android source code, flashing the images on my device. I have flashed these images on my device and my device is ready now. What I have done, I am not allowing any third party application to access the data temp folder. That's all, simple. I am just removing this particular permission. So, uh, and I have written one uh, small application uh, to access a particular file in this data temp folder. So, let's see how that app looks. Uh, this is the application I was talking about, YouTube sample file. Here, what I am doing, I am just defining the directory name. Directory name is data temp. Okay, and the file which I'm trying to access is example.txt. So imagine in my file system, in the data temp partition of my Android device file system, there is an example.txt file. And this particular app is just checking if that file exists or no in that particular partition. So here I'm just checking, I'm just uh, creating a new file here and I'm checking if this example.txt file is existing in this data temp folder or it is not existing in data temp folder. Now since I have removed the search permission that means I will not have the uh, permission to locate any file or search for any file in this particular location. So once I run this particular application on my uh, device on my device with the changes with the changes means where I have removed the search permission there if I actually run this particular application this application will not uh, be uh, successfully run it will throw an AVC denial error so let me show you all how this error looks uh, let me show you all the log 
this is the log file uh, which I collected when my application did not run successfully. So mainly we can focus on this particular line which is telling there is an AVC denial from SC Linux. Okay, what this AVC denial is telling there is no search permission so avc denied for what there is no search permission for the process id and the uid that depends on which process you're running and the name of the file i'm trying to access is example.txt and the source context is youtube sample file so this is the name of my application target context is untrusted app and i'm trying to access data temp folder so what it is telling i have an application uh, called youtube sample file and that application is is an untrusted app okay and it is trying to access data temp partition data temp example.txt partition but it is not allowed to access this example.txt file because because it do not have this particular search permission so this is how my avc denial looks like so once i get this avc denial error what next i have to do i have to start understanding in which file and why this error is thrown i can uh, explain that to y'all see target context is always the file which we are trying to access right so your untrusted app this itself will be the sc policy file name so what i have to do i have to search for this particular untrusted application in my uh, source code and then I have to check if this data temp partition is having the search permission that's all I have to do if search permission is not there I have to go ahead and add that particular permission so all my third party apps will be able to access any file given in this data temp folder so uh, one hint is always go to the target context and whichever uh, a uh, file name is there dot t file you have to search in your source code and then in that particular uh, thing you have to search for the class name and the permission check if permissions are written properly now what i do to fix this issue i go back i add the search permission i save my code again i build my entire android source code again so once i build the entire android source code i am flashing these images again and then if i run the same application uh, I it and I'm checking if the file exists or no example.txt file is existing or no so once I run the same application that time I will be thrown with the toast message file is existing so this is a simple example I just wanted to give you all I just created this own error by deleting the search permission and uh, just I deleted the search permission made these changes in the Android uh, build and flash the images just to show y'all how this avc denial error will be uh, captured you have to capture this in your logs so you have to run the log cat uh, when you're running the application so this error will be captured so i hope this was a simple explanation to y'all for your better understanding um, i hope this was informative and helpful i'll see y'all soon in my next tutorial until then everyone take care bye Dimple signing off.